So we'll now look at FTPing into our server so we can go ahead and upload files. And what we're going to be doing is replacing this index.html file with some files of our project so we can then just view them via this IP address. Now I have a very simple app or just an example single line of code ready to go and I have this within here so I can just basically copy over this index.php file. Obviously this might be a slightly larger project so you can just copy over all the files that you need. So I'm going to be using FileZilla for this which is also available for Windows so if you are on Windows you can just follow along as normal. This is using SFTP not standard FTP so we're not going to be providing a password. It's pretty much exactly the way we connected using our terminal but just via our FTP client. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add our uh, private key to FileZilla so we can actually connect. So what we want to do is bring up FileZilla's settings uh, area and under connection and FTP we have this SFTP option. So we can add our, pri uh, our private key here. So if we hit add key file, uh, these are all of my keys. So wherever you've stored your pr uh, public and private key, you're gonna wanna head over to there. We're gonna choose our private key. Remember the private key is the one we use to connect, the public key is the one that's stored on the server. So I'm gonna select this and hit open. And FileZilla will prompt me to convert the key file to a supported format. So we just follow this along and hit yes. And we just have to resave this. So I'm going to call this project underscore FZ for FileZilla. So hit save. And that will go ahead and add that uh, to your uh, keys. So hit OK. And now we are going to enter our host and our username, not our password because we're not using password authentication. So what we're going to want to do is head over to our control panel, copy our IP address here, and go ahead and paste this in with the SFTP protocol in front of it. So that's it. Remember the username is root. We used that in our terminal earlier when we connected. And because we have our key stored now, we can just hit quick connect. And uh, it's going to ask us to trust this. We can just hit okay. And that will go ahead and uh, basically connect us. So uh, we can now see that we're inside of our server. Let me just pull this down just so it's a little bit easier to see. We can see uh, var, we can see dub 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 that we saw earlier, basically everything we were doing in the command line earlier. And there's our index.html file. So we can go ahead and we can delete this. We can hit yes. And when we head over here, we just see nothing. So we now have complete control over all the files in our server. So let's just copy over this index.php file to our server. I'm sure you know how to do this. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to copy this over. That's going to go ahead and upload this. You'll want to do this with all the files that you're using. And when I refresh, it says, give us your name. And I can go ahead and provide my name here. And we see our working application. So that is how we FTP over. Obviously, now you have control over all of the files within your server. So you can use this to go ahead and update configuration. Maybe you need to change your Apache configuration. You need to change your PHP configuration. Just remember that when you do change your configuration, you're going to want to go ahead and restart your server. So make sure you use the commands we uh, looked at earlier. But that is pretty much it. You can go ahead and store this and you are now ready to connect to your server and upload files.